Okay, in today's video, I'm going to bring y'all along as I show y'all some thrift store and some yard sale items that I purchased for $5 and under, how I recreate them, and how some of them I just use as is, and how I'm going to style them in my home. And make sure, if you're not already following me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, to make sure to go over and follow me there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is this wood drawer that I got at Goodwill. And I got it for $1.99, and I got it on um, Red Sticker Day, so I got it for $1. I think this is handmade. It was solid wood. So I just went over it with a couple of coats of white linen chalk paint. I'm not going to distress it. But then I'm going to add a piece of hardware that I purchased at Hobby Lobby on Half Price Day. So the little knob was only $3. So y'all, that's all I'm going to do for this, but little wood drawers are so much fun to style and decorate in your home. There's so many options for them. You can stand them up. You can put things in them. You can also make these into recipe boxes. You can add florals and greenery to them. So, so many options for little wood drawers. The night is young and so are we. So Okay, the next item I'm going to upcycle is going to be this little brown planter box. Now, I also scored this at the Goodwill, y'all, and I only paid $4.99 for it. And the day I went, blue tack was half off, so I got it for $2.50. I just applied some white chalk paint to it, and now you know I'm going to add one of my favorite transfers. This comes out of the IOD Brocant transfer book, and as always, I will leave all the transfer books and the products that I use in today's video down below in my description box, and I'll also have them in a pinned comment at the top of all the comments. So I decided I wanted to make this two-sided, so I was going to add this graphic to the other side so I'd have two sides and I could flip it around. <laughs> well, this side turned out great, and I went around kind of distressed a little bit with my sandpaper. This was a fail. I'm not sure why this transfer would not adhere, but it didn't. But anyway, I went with it. You know, I can always flip it around and have a really worn look. So sometimes if your transfers don't adhere very well, just go with it and it just makes your piece look a little bit more worn. Okay, the next project is going to be a piece that I got at Goodwill, and I paid $5.99 for this. But y'all, I absolutely love this, and I think this was half off because on Blue Tag Day, you get it half off. So this had some, like, um, some faux rust on it. It's got that glaze finish to it. It looks like a utensil holder. So if you don't if you don't happen up on one at the thrift store, I found it on Amazon. So I actually have this piece. If you are interested, I have it in my Amazon store and it's gonna be under farmhouse decor. But y'all, I love this piece. Not gonna do anything to it. It doesn't need anything. So this would be great. You know, you can add florals to this, use it as a vase, and like I say, you can also use this in your kitchen as a utensil holder. Now I'm going to show y'all a cute little stuffed bunny that I found at Goodwill. He was just laying up in the Easter or the seasonal uh, decor aisle, and he was only $1.99. Y'all, I love bunnies, and I'll keep them out all year long. So I showed y'all this little trick in one of my past videos, but you can buy little baby headbands, and they're already in a bow shape, so you don't have to do anything to them. And the ones that I purchased, got them at Burke's Outlet, but I found some that you get a whole bunch more, and I linked them in my Amazon store. I think you got 12 uh, in that set for less than $10. So these make great little embellishments for any of your items that, you know, like I say, if you don't want to make a bow or you don't have time, just stick one of these cute little headbands on it, and you've got a great little embellishment. 
Okay, the next project is going to be this cute little galvanized chalkboard stand. Now, I paid $2.99 for it, and I think I got it half off. Now, this right here is, um, it's got like a little wood base to it, so I decided to go on and just chalk paint the whole thing white. And I also went over it with some satin spray paint just to give it more of a smooth finish. Now, I'm going to take the new Iron Orchid Design Transfers, Y'all, I love these. They've got several sheets in them that are little uh, floral patterns. So I, I was dying to use one of these, and this project was perfect for it. It fit on it really good because it was just the perfect size. So I applied that to it. You always go over it with your little clear sheet just to burnish it on to make sure you've got a, you know, it's got good contact. And then that's all I'm going to do to this piece. Now this just will make a great piece to set up in our spring and our summer vignettes. Okay, the next item that I got at Goodwill was this huge basket. Y'all, this is a great basket. It only paid $3.99 for it. It's a very good size. It's got this very nice handle on it. It's very sturdy. You could put throws and blankets in it. It's that big. But I'm going to show you some ways of how you can style it for spring and summer. My friend Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage, bless her heart, I've been looking for these lavender picks at Walmart, and my Walmart never got them. So she was so sweet and went and got me some and, and sent them to me. So thank you so much, Sherry. But I just added some really pretty lavender to this basket. I got this new lace umbrella from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked in my store. And just it just adds such a great little, you know, piece to my vignettes. And then also, baskets can be so inexpensive if you find them out at yard sales or thrift stores. Now I want to show you another really cute detail that you can get very inexpensive. Those little flowers you can get on the wedding aisle at Hobby Lobby. You get a package of them and I think you get nine to a package. If you go when they're half off, I think you can get them for around two dollars. I added a few of those to my little bunny just to give you another idea and a little bit more inspiration of how you can in inexpensively embellish your your projects or your little bunnies or anything you have for spring and summer just makes a great another little inexpensive embellishment piece <laughs> okay now i'm going to show you another great piece that i picked up at goodwill this was um, a metal candlestick holder. Now y'all, I'm not going to do anything to this. I am going to add an IOD transfer to the base. This was only $1.99. It's a cream colored like a metal with some faux rust on it. As you can see, I added a little bit of French wording to the base. I always keep my scraps for my transfers, so I had those left over from my previous project. It didn't take me any time to put those little transfers on the base. So now our little candlestick's got a really cute little French country flair to it. Okay, the next item I'm going to show you, I purchased from our church yard sale. We had a little fundraiser and there was a whole uh, bunch of, of necklaces all tied together. There was probably seven or eight. So I bought them all because I wanted these beautiful pearls right here. And I paid $5 for all of them. But y'all, these pearls right here are absolutely gorgeous. They look vintage and they've got the cameo clasp. So I just want to show y'all, whenever you're at, you know, yard sales or estate sales, 
always look at the jewelry because you never know what kind of treasures you're gonna find. Okay, another treasure that I found at a thrift store is this Avon 1970s jewelry box. I paid $2 for it. It's in, it's in pretty rough condition. You can tell it's got some wear and tear on it. But as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it up and I had to have it. Because y'all, being a 70s kid, you know, Avon brings back so many special memories to me. <laughs> so I love Avon products, especially when they're vintage. So, I've had this in storage, but anyway, I got it back out when I got my pearls, and I just went out and just kind of priced them to see how much they sell for now. One had sold for $10 plus shipping, and this one was out on, online for $58. So, I feel like for $2, even though mine's got some wear and tear on it, I feel like I got a really good deal, and I think they pair so well with my new pearls. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Okay, the next item I found when I was out treasure hunting at the thrift store, and these I got at Goodwill. Y'all, I paid $1.99 for these. These are, um, are Lefton brand. They are hand-painted bisque china. Y'all, these are absolutely gorgeous. You can see the pair here is selling for $29.99, and also here's one that's selling for just one $17. You can see the beautiful delicate flowers on them i absolutely fell in love when i saw these and like i say these were on red sticker they were a dollar 99 and i think that day the red stickers were actually half price but i can't remember so it's possible i may have even paid two dollars for this set but i love these they are such nice quality they have no chips on them so i think this was another great score nothing can break me no no nothing can break me Okay, y'all, the next project is probably going to be one of my most favorite DIYs ever. I picked up this window at a yard sale, and I think I paid a couple of dollars for it. A lot of times you can find old windows very inexpensive. So, and a lot of times they'll be at yard sales, and sometimes you can find them at antique stores real, at a really good price. So, I'm going to paint the windows, and I'm going to paint the back, because the front, I'm going to add some transfers to. So, that is what it looks like once I got a, several layers on the back where I had full coverage, and you can also go over it with spray paint. Now, I'm going to use this beautiful transfer, and I have this linked in my Amazon store. It'll either be under the transfer category or the stencils. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the process of having a whole category for transfers and getting them out of the stencil section. But, y'all, this just screams me. I love it. So, it's got a beautiful rose floral um, design on it. It's got some French wording. So, in this um, transfer right here, is really easy to use because it's got really good grid marks to where you can line it up and you can also cut it and you can cut it straight so you can line it up. So, it's perfect for this project. Now, you can also go over the, the, the center of the window with a transfer, but I chose to cut my transfers down the middle, down those little grid lines, and then just do each pane separately. 
and that's what I did and I just went really slow and I did one section at a time and you can see I always put my transfers down with some using some painters tape once I get them positioned and then that way that painters tape will hold it your transfer down so when you remove the white backing it will stay in place and that was all I did and you just go over it with your little scraper tool that they give you and then you just you know work your way around and so I just go to the next side I lined up my transfer on the other side and then I did the same thing. I just applied it to the front of the window and then you want to go over it with a clear backing just to burnish it to make sure you've got a good adhesion and everything is, you know, made good contact. And uh, applying the glass with the transfer to me was really easy. You Like I say, just kind of work slow and in sections. And I don't know, this project maybe took me maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So, and then when I got to the bottom, I did the same thing. I just kind of lined it up um, on each side. And this is how I did my painter's tape. I would tape it at the top once I got it positioned, and then I would just remove that, black, um, that white backing. And once I got done, I went over it really good. I burnished the rest of it, and it's done. So y'all, this is gonna make a beautiful piece that I can hang up anywhere in my home. I haven't decided exactly where I wanna put it, but I've always wanted to make one of these. So like I say, if you're interested in this beautiful transfer, I'll have this and there's also some other really pretty ones that I've got in my Amazon store. And I've actually got a couple that I've already purchased, but I just haven't used them yet. So, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. And um, you know, like I say, if you see those vintage windows or any kind of window out, pick them up. They make great DIY project pieces. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive Okay, y'all, the favorite part of the video is this, is the dollhouse. So I'm going to give y'all a dollhouse update. As a lot of y'all have followed me, y'all see my dollhouse from day one. I purchased it at a yard sale for $2. It didn't look nothing like this, but this is kind of how it looks currently. And y'all, as soon as I get little furniture and do things, I just kind of throw them in my house because I'm a visual person. I like to kind of put it in there and kind of look and think of how I want to paint it and how I want to arrange it. So I'm going to take this thrifted or maybe a yard sale frame. I know I always pick them up whenever I see frames and I probably paid a dollar for this. It's been in my little um, supply shed. So I took it, took it out and we're going to make, we're going to fix the roof. The roof of my little house was damaged. Both of the sides were broke off. So I'm going to use this frame to frame my little roof back out. I thought this would be a very inexpensive way and, you know, we'd give it a good design. So Ben is just helping me. We're just going to cut this frame down. And basically what we're going to do is we're just got to, you know, make those angles again. And then we're going to take apart the frame and then we're going to attach it back to that angle. We just kind of shortened down the frame, you know, made it a little less wide. And then we cut off the ends. So I'll show you just a minute what I'm talking about. But this is kind of what we're going to work with. And this is my solution to actually... Um, it fixed my roof. So we're just going to apply these back together now with some wood glue. And he's also going to use some hot glue to kind of hold it together until it dries. And we're just going to, you know, put it back together there in that edge and let it dry really good. And then we're going to go in. And what we did was the um, this part right here will show when you look at the dollhouse from the front. So I kind of wanted to get something that would kind of blend in with that brown frame because I can't decide if I want to paint paint it white. Right now I'm going to go with it brown and I'll let y'all decide. Once we get it up here, you can see a little bit better why I'm leaving it brown because I feel like it really pops with the brown flooring, but then also the white furniture. So we're just going to add some hot glue. Um, hot glue. We're going to add some wood glue. We took out those little screws so we could get a flat contact 
with the frame it would lay flat and then we're just going to clamp it on and that's all we're going to do and then we're going to let that dry and then you can see we can see what the roof now looks like and we can decide do we want to paint it or do we want to leave it brown so again here's a picture of the house before with the broken roof and now here's the solution that you know i thought of just a piece of a, a thrifted picture frame like I say, I always have these on hand because they're so inexpensive and I pick them up all the time. And just all sizes and, you know, colors. So y'all let me know what you think. Should we paint it white or should we just leave it the brown? Now the brown's got, you know, a little bit of a mangle color in it. And it's got a little pink stain over on the side. I think it got scratched up. But here's another option. I'm going to take one of these really pretty little wood um, emblems that I get on Amazon and I have these linked in my store. I chalk painted it white. It's hard to tell here but I did paint it. Now I'm going to give you a just a different option. I just took a little dab of hot glue and just barely stuck it up there just so you can see just how we can add another little element of embellishment to the house because y'all know I love a little scroll ornate detail. So y'all leave comments down below. Let me know what you think about the little dollhouse so far. Just a quick note before I end, I went in on the right side where that pink stain was on the frame. I think someone had tried to sand it and there was some pink coming through. I took some Dollar Tree floor marking pens and I just went around and just kind of tried to tone that pink down. So now the right side looks a little bit better. It doesn't have that pink spot glaring at us. So just wanted to throw that in there before I end the video. Okay, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And as always, I sure enjoy spending time with y'all. I hope you'll come back to my next video and spend some more time with me. As always, thank y'all so much. I love y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.